from the moment you checked in, you knew the pink flight was going to be highly bizarre. Drag queens with names like Miss Rabina were introducing themselves as your flight attendants. You're going to be serving us and keeping us safe on this flight? Looking after you every inch of the flight, darling. Then I got to the gate. But this was no dream, no traveling Broadway musical. I was going on a real flight with a real airplane. Is it wearing a boa? With real pilots. This first officer here, his name is Tony Hay. And for that purpose of this evening, this is my husband, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't know that we were married, but you know in New Zealand we can have a civil union too then. I knew this was a promotion for an airline, Air New Zealand. We feel that embracing the gay community is important. Um, you know, we would love them to travel on Air New Zealand to all our destinations. This is our official final boarding call. But it was easy to forget this was about selling tickets when comedian Kathy Griffin was the one collecting them. Hello, welcome to the flight. She was coming along to shoot her reality show, My Life on the D-List. If I don't get my kosher meal, I'm not going to be happy. I know, I'm going to hear about it all night long. And I mean all night long. It all felt about as real as reality television. Here we go, this is one liquored up plane we're getting on. Uh, what do you think of all these shenanigans? I think it's kind of fun. It's a lot of, uh, it was the uh, kind of impetus to get us to do a trip to Sydney, which we've been talking about doing for a long time. Who's us? My, my partner here, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hello. Nearly everyone on board was gay. It's kind of like the VIP area. Severe VIP. As the guy sitting in front of me, Darren Rush, was shocked to discover. You had no idea? I had no idea. I just thought it was going to be like a regular party. I had no idea what was going on. So, I mean, I'm totally ignorant to this stuff. I had other stuff going on. And I was just trying to book a cheap flight and it just worked out to be the uh, cheapest fare by far. So. Oh my God, you're that guy. I am. He was on his way to see his girlfriend. Do you think that you'll be gay by the end of the flight? Uh, if it, everything keeps up the way it is, sure. Okay, well, I'm going to be monitoring this from the seat behind you. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to be monitoring from the seat in front of me, too. <laughs> I'll say that much. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to keep my... Uh, I don't know what that means. Shortly after takeoff, dinner was served. Pure New Zealand beef. And I'm talking about the waitress. <laughs> You're very welcome. There you go. Pink, yes. Better than your average airline meal? Not so much. Even though this is the pink flight, really it's not that different from a normal flight. I mean, people have to apply by the same rules. You have the FA. Whoa. Staying occupied during the pink flight was no problem. There were movies, there was live entertainment, including a hot bodies contest. What was your girlfriend saying? She knows that I'm hers. I love that the straight kid entered the competition. I kind of hope he wins. That would be genius. Darren wasn't the crowd favorite. Kathy Griffin stole the show. Plans to party all the way to Sydney went out with the lights. We're going to be landing in just a few hours. It's been a long flight, but probably the fastest 14 hour flight I've Watch ever out, been Bill, on. Was there any hanky panky in the bathrooms last night, you think? There was so much hanky panky in the bathrooms. I heard a lot of whispering and giggling. I saw feathers flying. With our landing, Air New Zealand passed another aviation milestone the gayest flight ever. Jason Bellini, CBS News on Logo, Sydney, Australia.